there is one specific subtype of meningiomas that you develop in adulthood when you've had childhood radiation. Our idea was whether in fact there is something different about radiation-induced meningiomas compared to sporadic meningiomas that the average population get. A, to be able to understand the biology of meningiomas and take advantage of the clinical presentation of childhood-induced meningioma to understand the biology of all meningiomas, and B, to be able to actually identify a therapeutic strategy that could be implemented early on in childhood after radiation to prevent the formation of meningiomas. There's a significant percentage of childhood survivors, about 80% who develop meningiomas. What has never been looked at before is whether the biology of radiation-induced meningiomas is similar to sporadic meningiomas. In general, because typically meningiomas are considered to be benign, they're surgical tumors, very little research goes towards meningiomas. But in fact, 20 to 30 percent of them can have malignant-like features or aggressive features. And so this was really the goal for our project, to understand whether the biology of a radiation-induced meningioma is different from sporadic meningiomas, and in doing so, are there data and information that we can gather that would help us identify tar therapeutic targets that we could intervene early. Our research identified a specific rearrangement that occurs in the DNA involving the NF2 gene um, that, that causes radiation-induced meningioma. But there are likely other genetic rearrangements that, that are occurring as a result of that, of that radiation-induced DNA damage. So I think uh, that one of the next steps is to really identify um, what is the radiation doing to the DNA of the meninges so that we can perhaps um, prevent um, these radiation-induced meningiomas from occurring. So by studying the biology of the radiation-induced meningiomas and the clinically aggressive meningiomas, we're hopeful that we can identify therapeutic targets, but also biomarkers and predictors that can determine which tumor is going to behave aggressively and which one won't. I'm Gallery Zadeh and I work at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center. I'm Ken Aldape. I'm a scientist at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center.